Hello, and welcome to my historical photo analysis. My chosen photo does not have a name, but it is a part of American photojournalist Ron Haviv's work photographing the ethnic cleansing in Bosnia. While Haviv had only been a journalist for about three years at the time of this photo, he has since become someone known to cover conflict, and he's also been nominated for an Emmy for his filmmaking. I chose this photo because of the sadness and the helplessness that it portrayed that really stuck with me, even before knowing the story behind it. I found an article that was later written by Haviv about his exact account of the day this photo was taken, and it is both horrifying and saddening. This photo was taken in Bjelgina, Bosnia in March of 1992 as the Serbian paramilitary group the Arkans Tigers launched an attack on unarmed civilians in the town. Haviv first saw Zabiri when he watched as the Tigers took Zabiri prisoner after finding him in a mosque. After the Tigers had finished their executions in the town, and while they were dragging Zabiri back to their headquarters, Haviv went to take a picture of him, and then Zabiri put his hands up in surrender and sort of pleaded for help, but there was nothing Haviv could do. Later, as Haviv was trying to leave the headquarters, he witnessed as Zabiri landed in front of his feet after falling out of a second story window. Zabiri was then doused in water by the soldiers and then taken back to wherever he was being held. Haviv went back to the headquarters the next day, but he never saw Zabiri again. After Haviv snuck out the film rolls and published the photos, Erkin stated to a Swedish journalist that he looked forward to the day when he could drink Haviv's blood, although in reality the photos were used as evidence in numerous war crimes trials in the former Yugoslavia. Twelve years later, Haviv finally found out who Zabiri was after his famous photo was posted on Facebook. Haviv said Zabiri's family thanked him for the photos, but he wasn't sure how to respond. 